Hello friends and welcome to my channel once again and today we'll be learning more about Cortana uh, like uh, most of the people now have uh, Windows 10 but uh, unfortunately uh, they cannot utilize more features of Windows 10 because they don't have knowledge about uh, them so in this video I'll be showing you uh, like in my previous video I have covered the start menu what can be done and how can uh, start menu be used in this video I'll be showing how you can uh, work with Cortana and Cortana what exactly is Cortana Cortana is a search bar uh, if you look just next to the start button and it is your digital agent and she'll help you get things done the more you use Cortana the more personalized your experience will be to get started type a question in the search box or select the microphone you see that you see that icon of microphone and when you when you click on it 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 yeah. will show you uh, like it will pretend that it is listening to you sorry about that I didn't hear anything did you hear because I did not uh, I have not configured Cortana to listen to me yet so that's the reason she said when I press the button she said she did not hear anything so first you will have to configure the Cortana to talk to you and if you are not sure what to say uh, like when you have the Cortana configured you will see suggestions on your lock screen and in Cortana home when you select the search box on the taskbar so let's go configure Cortana I'll simply click the setting button and when you click the setting button you see let's Cortana respond to hey Cortana actually uh, that's what you need to say when you want Cortana to respond you so will it, it is right now off so I'll turn it back on so those are the settings keep my device from sleeping when it's plugged in so I can always say uh, this is the option if you if you keep it checked so whenever you'll say uh, Cortana will be able to respond to you but uh, it will it, then your device will not go to sleep so I'll leave it unchecked this option respond when you say here Cortana uh, should be enabled like it will remember your voice uh, when you see when you uh, choose you can choose one of the options since you'll be using it so you can set it to uh, the second option if you want but I'll leave it to the first option okay when you can leave that another option use Cortana even when my device is locked okay this is the uh, this is one of the best feature of Cortana let Cortana access my calendar email messages and power so this option will let you uh, set uh, an appointment or it will open up your emails and all for you uh, that is the another feature of Cortana if you if you link like uh, if you have a cell phone and you link the Cortana so you can even use it with your cell phone you see I mean it is pretty much self-explanatory what you see on this menu if you have allowed it on your phone Cortana can tell you on this device when your battery is low and when you miss a phone call or 
like text or app notification on your phone so you'll get the notification on your computer when something happens on your phone like that one more important thing uh, like uh, because this video can be viewed uh, in any region uh, Cortana has some limitations it is not available for uh, all countries there are there are some countries uh, where the Cortana is not available so that device option I have not in, uh, enabled so yeah, that is fine history because whenever you will run uh, playing software that history will get deleted but I'll keep it on so that's it I mean you can choose from the options what exactly you want so we'll try hey Cortana sorry about that I didn't hear anything Oh, that did not work. Well, you may face the same problem. So let's tap here to make sure Cortana can hear you. And we'll wait. What is the problem? Hey Cortana. That's me. Oh, that's great. So I just said hey Cortana and uh, you see Cortana was able to hear you. And the reason I chose that or second option because I'm not using inbuilt mic of uh, my laptop. I'm using a headphone. So that's how Cortana will respond to you. You can you can even give your name to Cortana. Let me see in the settings. So when you click home, these are the things you can do. So until unless you see, I mean until unless you browse a particular feature, you won't come to know more about that. I know people, uh, they, they, they are afraid doing things on their computer, they think they may end up doing something wrong, but that's okay. I mean that's how you learn things. Uh, there is one more important thing I forgot to mention that. Uh, when you use Cortana, you will require internet connection. That is a must. Plus, you need to have a live account. A live account is something you can come to know by clicking that notification and click all settings and click account. And this is what you should not have because I have a local account. So you should have a uh, live account plus internet connection in order to use Cortana. We can also see tips if you click on see all tips. So it can help you to uh, I mean you can set reminders alarm you can send an email you can play some music and 
Let me try one thing. Yeah. Hey Cortana, can you play some music for me? Playing music on Groove. That's it. So I may not have any music file, but uh, let's see what it does. So unfortunately, I don't have any music saved. And the reason it says playing music on Groove, because Groove might be the default browser set. Uh, I mean default uh, player set in my computer. Let me check. So we can go to default app. Do you see that's the music player I have set? So I will click on it and I will select Windows Media Player as my default application. Let's see. Okay, the reason it has Groove Music because it is recommended for Windows 10. I'm trying to change it. But let's see, it is not allowing. Let me download some song. Okay, let me see what exactly is this. Okay, I have uh, 
song downloaded and saved on uh, the desktop So it is being played. Let me try if Cortana can find and play that song. Yeah. Hey Cortana, can you play some music for me? Playing music on Groove. Okay, that's what did keep asking. Uh, try playing something else. Sign in, then try again. So probably I need to have a Microsoft account in order to uh, in order to play music. So what we'll be doing will be creating uh, or will be converting uh, this account to into a live account. So. Let's try. Okay, uh, I will be creating one account so you'll get an idea how to create and convert your existing account into a live account. We'll create one. We'll get a new email address. We'll choose a new one. So it will be technical tips at outlook.com. I'll set a password. Okay. And select your, your country and click next. It is good to put your cell phone number there because what happens in cases when you forget your password it helps you to reset your uh, password so if you'll have the phone number added it will give you an option to uh, so you can receive your security code there so I'll put my phone number and you also do You can the you can leave these options checked, or I'll check uh, this one. I mean, I'll check. I'll uncheck that second one. It may ask you to type your current password. Current password is the password which you use to get into Windows. So let's give it the password of your local account. and click next great well that's it now what I will strongly recommend you do not create a pin I mean pin is a good uh, feature lots of people use uh, pin so instead of typing your whole password you can si simply choose four digit number uh, to get into your computer but what happens uh, suppose some Windows updates got downloaded on your computer after those updates your computer may not recognize your pin it, it, instead uh, instead of having a pin it is always good to keep a password so what what will happen after update when you will type the pin number it will say the invalid pin so that's what commonly happens I mean we do receive we do receive such calls and uh, that that is the you can see that is a glitch of uh, this windows 10 so i'll skip this and one more thing happens if you type your if you select a pin 
what may happen after a few months you may you may forget what the password was and people even forget they have any option of password they said they have just they just had the pin for a very long time they never uh, created a password however that is absolutely wrong because pin is the secondary option you need to have a password then only you have the option of pin if you don't have a password there won't be any option of having pin so it is a secondary option but the primary option is a password and if you have a Microsoft account there is no way you can skip this uh, password screen because you need to have a password in case of Microsoft account so I'll skip this step So do you see now instead of technical tips it it says technical tips at outlook.com means I have already switched to uh, the live account and this is how you can switch back and forth back and forth between uh, live and local account so if I need to go back to the local account I will click on sign in with the local account instead and follow the prompts and it will let you log into local account I'll be doing that uh, and uh, at the end of this video so I'll close this for time in. now I'll ask Cortana to play some music yeah. hey Cortana can you play some music for me sorry I can't play music on Groove right now oh That is disappointing. Yeah. Hey Cortana, can you play some music? Playing music on Groove. What exactly is the problem? It's good that there is a problem, and because you may face same problem, so I'll try to fix it. Let's see. What we'll do, we'll put this song in music folder. Let's see if that works. Yeah. Hey, Cortana, can you play some music for me? Sorry, I can't play music on Groove right now. Hmm. Let's see. So I have opened Groove, I'm adding some music from store. Let's see. Oh my god, I don't want to pay. Let's talk about some free music. Oh, 
we have free music collection. Oh no. Let's close the Sam. Quick, so we have what I did I'll show you I went to I click this option and I chose the music folder so when the groove application will open up it will look for music in music folder that's what I did so let's try again yeah. hey Cortana can you play some music for me Playing music on Groove. Oh great, so that's how Cortana works. So what we did in this video, we configured Cortana so it can listen to us and we have also resolved a problem that Cortana was able to hear but she was not able to play her music. There were some reasons. First, uh, we did not have any music on the computer. Second, uh, Groove is the recommended app for Cortana to open up because Cortana will be configured in such a way that it will open up only recommended apps. So, uh, it opened Groove music but since the Groove music did not have any music or there was an option when Groove music app is open where you want to look for uh, uh, music in uh, your computer so that was not configured so I chose music folder so it open yeah. hey Cortana can you open email all right starting email great so do you see that's how Cortana open things for you I don't have an email set up yet so I'll close it and I'll try something else yeah. hey Cortana can you open up a browser yeah. oh great that's how you open a browser so it has opened Microsoft Edge though my default browser is Google Chrome but it is opening Microsoft Edge. The reason is Cortana is configured to work with default app, uh, work with uh, recommended applications which are for Windows 10. So how the Microsoft Edge is the recommended browser because it is a new browser in Windows 10 and Groove Music is the default music app in Windows 10. Well, that's about it in this uh, video. So, uh, I'll be uploading a new video also, which will have more about Cortana, and I'll I'll show you how to do things in Cortana. Uh, and please keep watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel. Click the like button. Share my videos if you like the videos and uh, uh, others so others also can take benefit well thank you for watching and you have a great day bye bye